Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create such a part in FreeCAD. While creating this part, I encountered a small problem. I will also try to show you this problem and demonstrate how I dealt with it. I remind you that FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system. We can use this system for both hobby and commercial purposes. Anyone can use this system. It is developed under open source principles, so we can use this system without any restrictions. We just download it, install it, and we can use FreeCAD. I will start a new project in the Part Design Workbench. Select the Part Design Workbench and start a new project. I will create a sketch of this base here. We will start with a simple extrusion. We create a sketch on the XY plane. Here we will create two circles in such a way that the centers of these circles lie on the X axis. Make sure you have automatic constraints and automatic removal of redundant constraints enabled. We select the circle tool and draw the first circle so that the center of this circle coincides with the x-axis. Hover the cursor over the x-axis and when the x-axis is highlighted, click the left mouse button, enter the diameter of the circle as 20 millimeters, and press enter. We do the same on the other side of the y-axis. We hover over the x-axis, click the left mouse button and enter 20 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. OK, now right click to cancel this. And we will add a symmetry constraint so that these circles lie symmetrically about the y-axis. To do this, we select the center of this circle, then select the center of the second circle and select the y-axis. Now we choose the symmetry constraint. The circles are symmetrically positioned relative to the y-axis. Notice that when I grab one circle, the position of the other circle changes as well. Now we will add distances between the centers of these circles. We select the centers of these circles and choose Dimensioning or press the D key on the keyboard. The dimension appears and we enter 40 millimeters as the dimension value. OK, we have something like this. I right click to cancel the dimensioning command. Now I will select the circle tool again. I will draw two circles so that the centers of these circles lie on the y axis. I hover over the y axis and when the y axis is highlighted, I draw a circle with any diameter. For now, I am not focusing on dimensioning these circles because we will use constraints to make these circles tangent to those circles. We draw the second circle on the other side of the y-axis. We click in this place when the y-axis is highlighted and draw the second circle. Now I right click to cancel the circle drawing command. I select this circle and this circle and I choose the tangency constraint. Here we can press the T key on the keyboard and these circles are tangent to each other. We do the same with this circle and that circle and we press the T key on the keyboard. Now we will change the value of this dimension. Double click the left mouse button on this dimension and enter 30 millimeters here. OK, now it looks a little better. As you can see, because we have applied constraints, when changing the distance between the centers of these circles, the diameters of these circles change too, but we still have the tangency constraint applied here. Now, we will move on to trimming unnecessary parts of the geometry. Select the trim command and select this part of the circle and then this part of the circle. OK, the entire circle has been removed here, so I press Ctrl Z to undo that. I get a notification about too many constraints, but for now, I won't worry about it. I select the geometry trimming command again and trim this part of the geometry. At this moment, I am working on FreeCAD version 1.0 RC1. This is a release candidate version, which is not yet a stable version and may occasionally have such errors. However, as you can see, these are not very significant errors. I select the next parts of the circles and right click to cancel this command. I wanted to achieve this shape. As you can see, the sketch is not yet fully constrained. We have three degrees of freedom here. We need to add the missing dimensions. Certainly, the missing dimension will be this distance. 
Let's do it in such a way that I will select this point, this point, and the Y axis, and we will do it so that these points are symmetrically placed about the Y axis. We also add distances between these points, and for example, let's enter 40 millimeters. Okay, the sketch is fully dimensioned. We close the sketch and add an extrusion of 10 millimeters. I click OK. Now we will add this part while preparing for this lesson. I wanted to add this in such a way that I wanted to do it by extrusion along a path. So first, I created a sketch on this wall and I will do the same now in this lesson. I create a new sketch. Here, I select Create External Geometry to create reference geometry for this solid to get the center of this arc. I will draw a circle with a diameter of 7 millimeters here. OK, I close the sketch and now I will create another sketch and this sketch will be the path for extruding this profile. I select Creating a new sketch and I will create this sketch on the XZ plane. I will do it in such a way that I will create reference geometry to this circle so that I have some reference points here. Now I will create an arc here. I choose the create arc by center command. I will place the center of this arc on the Y axis. The second point will be placed roughly here. And the third point here. Now I right click, OK, I have this arc, and now I will add constraints. I want this point to lie in the same line as this point, so I select these two points and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. OK. Now I will place this point symmetrically between these two points. I select these two points, select this point, and choose the symmetry constraint. OK. I want this point to lie on the same line as this point, so I select these two points and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. I do the same with this point and that point, and here too, the horizontal vertical constraint. OK, we have the path for extruding the profile. Now I select this profile, choose the additive pipe operation, and select the path for extrusion. At this moment, I managed to do it. While preparing for, for this lesson, I couldn't do it this way, but OK. We managed to do it. If you couldn't do it this way, you can approach it a little differently. I press Ctrl Z to go back to that moment. I will turn off the visibility of this sketch because I won't need this sketch for anything. I will do it in such a way that I select this sketch, select the revolution operation here, and I have created a part in this way. I click OK. Here, as you can see, we practically have the same as before but there is also something added at the bottom. I want to show you how to handle this if we don't need this part, and the whole model is one single solid. We cannot simply select this and press delete because the entire part of this solid will be removed. I press Ctrl Z to go back to that. This is how we can easily handle such things. For this purpose, we can create a sketch on this face. We select this face, create a sketch, and draw any shape that will contain all the geometry we want to remove. We close the sketch and add the pocket operation. Here as you can see the pocket operation has been added in this direction, so I select the reversed option. Here I select through all and click OK. This way we removed the unnecessary part of the solid. We simply applied a pocket operation to the part of the solid that sticks out on this side to remove it. And as for those lines, they are just lines that result from how FreeCAD displays them. To turn off the display of these lines, we select the last operation, look for the refine parameter here, and change this parameter to true. Now those lines are invisible, and we have this kind of part. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.